Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, let's play Warhammer 2 as the High Elves, starting from the Volcanic Islands and the Star Tower. We are at war with the Vampire Coast that is uh, just next to our fair island and uh, as we're dealing with some public order issues on the island itself, it is about high time that we attack these um, undead filth and give them the business end of our sticks and arrows. Yes. Look, I'm, I'm not the greatest at um, inspiring my men, at least not yet. Uh, it takes a bit of time to get into character, right? But for now, it's like, uh, you know, you can win or you can lose it. Really won't that make that much of a difference. Because uh, I'll just send more men after you. Uh, yeah. Shush. Don't tell them that, though. Do not that that I don't know a lot about inspiring men, but that much I do know. Do not tell them. Uh, okay, let's take a look at our uh, our battlefield. Lots of trees. I don't like that. Um, not sure how the elves generally feel about forests, but uh, personally, don't like it. Tell you what, we'll wait for the enemy. We'll deploy back here, and uh, we're gonna do the old checkerboard pattern of uh, it's not really a checkerboard, but you know. You get the general idea, um, pattern of uh, infantry in the front, like so. And I'm actually going to thin this out a little bit more because there's going to be a hell of a lot of vampires coming at us. And they don't have archers, so... There's a luxury afforded only to us. However, we must protect them. Let's put the uh, giant bird over there. The Lord right there, and the support hero right there to reinforce the center. Start deployment. Uh, what is this? Ah, the unit of great swords. Um, I hear it's a good idea to keep a unit of stuff... <laughs> unit of stuff. To keep stuff in reserve, and this is a fairly powerful unit, so I will keep you in reserve. Again, reinforcing the center. Is it wiser to reinforce the flanks? Potentially, especially considering their formation will be a lot wider than ours. But, uh... Well, I don't know. We will see. These trees look really weird. Though, I have to say, I appreciate that right now I can look at the ground and not see just a, a green screen ahead of me, quite or in front of my face, quite literally. So... The fact that they disappear as I zoom in, appreciate that, thank you. Even if it does look a little bit awkward, um, as it sort of flickers in and out. It's pragmatism, right? I, I value that over uh, pretty looking leaves any day. Speaking of pretty looking, though, take a look at our uh, artillery units. They usually look fairly, uh, fairly nice. Look at that. Well, kind of. What about the combat stuff? You look worryingly similar. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, what is this? I did not see this button. You can actually switch to that. What's it look like? Get a bonus against infantry. I assume that this is what I should have been using all along. Oh well. Uh, slow down time because I want to cast a few spells. So let's begin with... Do we begin by weakening the enemy's center or do we weaken the enemy's uh, flank? Let's go with there. Seems to be like a group of enemy units there. Ah, uh, not yet. Hold. Let them get closer. Let them get closer. What are you doing? Please don't tell me I've set they, they're set to skirmish mode. You lot are supposed to be melee ranged units. 
I really don't see why the skirmish mode is enabled. Actually, you are safe behind these lines, provided these guys get their nerves back and, you know, fall back into formation. So really, everything's fine, worry not. Also, look at how much space there is between you and them. Like, stop, really, get a grip, stop running away. And continue firing. Okay, now I think is a good time to be casting this thing of ours on the Crypt Ghoul. <laughs> Ghoul? Ghoul? On the Crypt Ghouls? Maybe. Maybe. Start by going back there. Okay, lovely. And a fireball. I guess through the same units, right? Lovely. Okay, and this is where the reinforcements come in because there's a lot of pressure on this unit right here, right now. And even though I do have the Lord there, I would like to put in a little bit of extra umph into the uh, the battle. Now you have been a little bit flanked, and this we all very well aware of. And this is fine. The bird creature. Your objective is to take out those bats. Now you are a bit of, are, are at risk. This is, uh, I think, rather obvious to everyone. Okay, let's let's engage. Let's like attack into the enemy a little bit. How's the strength meter doing? Okay. All in all. Not very good. No, don't you dare retreat. I'm afraid we're going to have to fight most of this battle in uh, slow-mo, but I hear that makes things look extra awesome, so you know what? Fair enough, right? Now, I know you're good at ranged and, and hitting stuff like that, but I'd like you to go into melee. That may be a terrible mistake, I genuinely don't know. Like, I genuinely do not know. Have all the bats landed, slash have been killed. You now, whatever, whichever of the two is really both are okay to me. Let's put an explosion down there. See what happens. Very pretty. It's an explosion of pretty little trees. Bob Ross would be elated. Okay. You're holding your own quite well against the, the bats, mind you. This, I assume, is with the help of the bird, no? No, bird's fucked off elsewhere. That's fair enough. Hmm. We're holding the line, which is kind of ultimately what we wanted to do since the start of the battle, and... Primarily because I feel like I have an advantage there, but... Mm. And I think if we break the center, we'll be off to a good start. So let's try and break the, the center. With this swarm of uh, bats, which... I mean, yeah, you, you throw bats at me, I'll throw bats right back at you, apparently. Victory's within our grasp, yeah. I mean, kind of. Kind of not, though. <laughs> Can't kill the units of regular zombies. and <sighs> Not fair. We can. It's just taking a while, and the fact that it's taking a while is the problem. But then again, the entire battle seems to be taking a while, so... There's a unit of 42 Crypt Ghouls. There's a hero unit, and three other units attacking it. Two archers... And you're still having trouble. Okay. Divert the archers to the left. Divert these archers to the right. Like so. These units are going to break, probably. Center. Still not great. Victory is within our grasp. My ass. Victory is not within our grasp yet. 
Okay, give me more of those bats. Right there, right there. And you... Tell you what, this is a great target for an explosion, and I think it's worthwhile you aborting combat and going over there to cast it. Unless it's across the map. Oh, it's across the map. There. Okay. Credit where credit is due. You, you did good. They did fight the hero unit, so I didn't expect miracles from them. That unit is retreating. Okay, we beat the Crypt Ghouls. Now we can start distributing units left and right. Uh, mind you, the center still has not cracked. It may look like it has, but it has not yet. Let's witness one of our glorious volleys in slow motion. Now, when I say glorious volleys, I thought there'd be more than like three arrows flying, but you know what? As long as you get the job done, I don't care. Okay, back there. I did this sort of strategy in Rome 2 Total War. It worked really, really well. I conquered the world with it. Is it going to work here? I don't know. We're not fighting Gauls. We're fighting vampires. There's a large element of unpredictability that no one can deny. I get shots in their rear. Uh, put some more bats on this entire general area. My warriors are rallying. Lovely. Good job, my warriors. Um, I'm going to put you right there. And I'm going to let you shoot at the enemy rather than engage in melee because... Well, you have, lots of, you have lots of ammo and you sort of... I feel like you would do okay in that situation. And here we go. Get charged in the flank. Ah, oh, that is painful. I love this stance, though. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but like every unit should have this stance in when fighting with spears. Now, the Imperial Spearmen look terrible when they're doing this. The Elven Spearmen look utterly badass. Okay. This flank is pretty much done. All that remains is now to start a cascade of flanking maneuvers in this general direction. And to have you target him. Mm, good. Good. The cascade failure of the enemy has begun and we can actually unpause this and listen to some proper audio for once. So we've won there. This is sort of being negotiated still. Send the bird after the uh, chief vampire. And now, all of you... Making my way. Not you, sorry. Cravens, my warriors flee the field of not battle. Uh, not really Cravens. They did a good work. They did good work. You know, I expected them to fall sooner or later. And we killed their lord. Okay, lovely. Could it have gone better? A little bit, but not by not not a lot. Like it, it, it that was that was solid. That was pretty damn solid. Like strategically, most important thing is not that no one single unit takes a lot of damage, and that it's all sort of dispersed around everywhere. And if you don't take a look at the archers, which were supposed to be protected behind our lines, that sort of happened, apart from the bird, which then again, the bird was there to sort of carry the victory and um, was there to compensate for the numbers a little bit, so it's kind of expected that that happened. I mean, this just looks wrong, doesn't it? It doesn't look very elven. <laughs> uh, this is... Okay, this is different. Actually, this is a thing to think about. I can loot and occupy. It would... Give me a conquest penalty, but it would replenish 20% of my forces. The Asser laid ah. their claim. Maybe later, but I did beat one of their great armies. I don't expect to get attacked within the next few turns, and uh, 
few turns is all it will take for this army to get replenished because it's mostly made up of low level forces. You, however, can level up. Now let's see what you have. Uh, what does this do? It freezes the unit in place. Strong, very strong. Flaming Sword of Ruin. It just gives you a flaming sword. Okay, Chain Lightning. Yep. Unlimited power. Palpatine. We, I'm, we're turning you into Palpatine. The Asser of Troubles. Okay, now this... Um, I was going to say should have increased my income a little bit. I'm not sure if it has, but... Well, whatever the case may be, this is our income now. Deal with it, right? We can perform the inv invocation of Isha. It turns out this is not... It is not too early to be thinking about these. Cooldown duration 40 turns, I presume, yes. 40 turns, that is... No, I'm, I'm saving this. It's 2,000 gold, it's not a lot. But there's a little bit of a problem with um, taint and, and unrest and attrition here, but this is nowhere near enough to be doing like a like a spell like that. No, no, no need. Uh, it's way too early in the game. It means that I, I'll have it. I'll have the ability to cast it again in turn 47, and that's that's no. That's like approaching me. Your words cannot move me. Early mid game, kind of. Yeah. Nah, nah. Not a rush backed with clan pestilence. You know what would help? If I knew where clan pestilence was. I don't know. You're not supposed to know because they. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, know, I know. That's that's exactly what I mean. Um, I'm not blaming the map on this. Oddly enough, I will blame the map for most things later. But for now, I'm not blaming the map. I just. Would really like to know where they are. But, uh, no. We will have none of that, uh, non aggression bullshit. You're rats! We're high lords of the elves. No! No. Nonsense. We will fight you and we will exterminate you and we will purge the world of you. No. Archery prowess unlocked. Cartridge ammunition, this is for later. For now, spear wall. Mm, spear wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, actually. And neither would this. Ah, let's go with spear wall. Buff some more units in the, in the army. Master of the White Tower. Growth is going to be ridiculously slow here. Of anguish. I think I need to push for the for the capital of theirs. And Garrison is not that large in the capital. When can I do that? My power. Uh, not soon. Not exactly soon. Hmm. Okay. I wish my starting settlement was bigger. That's something that's going to bug me later quite a lot. Because uh, more Warhammer 2, there's more buildings now. There's, there's uh, more stuff you can produce, especially in regards to trade. Trade system has been expanded upon, which I suppose is worth talking about, sort of. Because I haven't played Warhammer 2 on the channel yet, so, you know. I suppose it's fair enough to, to talk about it a little bit, but uh, assuming you either know or are not interested yet. <laughs> and who knows, maybe this, this playthrough sparks an interest in someone somewhere, so I suppose it's, it's only fair enough to, to talk about that. Plus, in all due honesty, there's not a lot to talk about in the early games in terms of the gameplay, so, you know, might as well, right? Um, I'm kind of using you as a combat unit now, which is... Uh...
this is a constant local effect. Tell you what, this this is this works. It's not. Uh, it doesn't break anything. This, this it really does work. So, yeah, okay. Use you as that kind of unit. Sort of like a mix between the uh, supports, sort of on the map, doing around, doing doing things around settlements hero and uh, a combat hero in the army. I mix the two up a little bit. They really do need you to remove corruption from here, and you're doing it really damn quickly too. Next time we're going to start moving towards the, uh... Oh, but if I do it this turn, it... ...is better, period. Actually, you know, before I start walking troops around based on knowledge I've previously acquired... Immune attrition, yeah, this, this does work, as, uh, as I thought it would. My okay. knowledge is yours. Fifty percent and in camp. There you go. We're gonna start moving slowly towards this. Oh, probably a little bit slower than we uh, originally thought, eh? Hmm. Or faster. Only remains to be seen. Cause he is recruiting men. Actually, I think attacking right now would be almost ideal, wouldn't it? Because here's what that would gain me. I would attack him before he managed to get a full stack there, and I realistically would have a really hard time fighting a full stack in their capital. Never mind! What brings you forth from the swamps of Lustria? Military alliance. <laughs> no. That's, uh, to put it very lightly, no. Pay with your life. Peace treaty. No. The fact that you're willing to offer me one means I can take one whenever I whenever I want, more or less. And uh, unless you're threatening me, I see no reason to uh, get a peace treaty going. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. So what we could do now is we can actually attack their army, but he would probably retreat. Though he is on forced march, there is a chance I ambush him, is there not? Okay, I would like to see the chance of ambush. Should the army be attacked, retreat will be impossible. Yeah, he can't retreat. Yeah, this is this is a different kind of game. This is uh, this is not what I've been playing recently, which is not Warhammer. Uh, he can't retreat if I attack him. God, that was stupid of you. Why would you do that? It is the issue. If I attack him, I need to come back here and camp for like two or three turns, but they would be left without army. By the gods. And that is totally worth it. Half tempted to auto-resolve this. Matter of fact, I will. Because we had a big it's battle, and we had a sure. much more important battle recently. Death has come for this me. is... Not that relevant. Forced labor, really? 29... 39, sorry, percent of my forces will be... Wow. That is kind of amazing. So, here's the thing. You can't encamp, but I can put you on forced march. And you will take a little bit of losses next turn, but you are within striking distance of their capital now, and that's a lot more important. And the capital I will fight personally. Matter of fact, I think most sieges I will fight personally because the auto resolve is just not fair towards the defenders. Because the auto resolve does not count on siege towers and the entire geographical problems of attacking a city, right? And then the terrain problems behind attacking a city. 
uh, choke points and the likes, the, the, it doesn't take that into consideration. It just calculates units, which is... No, it's, it's not fair. I think the same goes for me, right? Same goes if I get attacked, so... I suppose I should do everything I can to level the playing field. Wherever and whenever I can. The Winds of Pain. What does it do? Ah. Cool. I think more useful for me in the upcoming battles. Attack. And they the king. did. It is their time. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just attack this right now. That's just just the Lord, right? Yep. Battle calls me. All right. Battle calls us indeed. Let's go. Battle of the Awakening. Yeah, that is a that is a name. And the, the, the problem is the settlement is called the Awakening, so you know. Bearing that in mind, it's slightly less cool, but when you, you know, when you sort of not think about that, hmm. How shall we deploy? First of all, I'd like to ask a question. I should I know the answer to, so you know what? Might as well not. Let's say, do, do towers still have infinite range, or has that been changed at any point in time? But. Don't ask questions you're gonna. You know the answer to, and will be disappointed to, uh. Just reaffirm, I suppose. Hmm, is it worth engaging one of the f f Oh, kind of, I don't know. Keep you in the rear, because you're pretty wounded. Keep you in the front, because you're going to go through the gateway as soon as it's uh, open. And that's all of my army? Indeed it is. Okay, start the battle. Uh, start the battle, he pauses, yeah. It's usually how it goes. Right. So... Apparently I need to click here for you to put ladders there. Whatever. Alright. Ladders there. Ladders there. Ladders there. That's the first three units on the left. Three units on the right. Ladders there. Again, why can't I click on this part of the wall? I have to click here. That's weird. And, oh, is it because I cannot put them from this side? Well, yes, I can. <laughs> Weird. Okay. You. I think I've learned something now. Yes, I have. Right there. Next, four units of these guys are going to march up like so. Four units of these guys are going to march up like so. You, why don't you shoot at the, uh, the tower, and the two lords await entry. Alright, that's the siege plan. Execute. Not gonna lie, I feel ever so slightly badass when I said execute. I felt, um, actually I still do. Ever since I said execute, I feel ever slightly badass. Yeah. As you say. As, laugh all you want. Try it. It's cool. Uh, you're not going to be able to kill this in any reasonable amount of time. No, you're not. Switch to multi shot. Shoot at the zombies.
What sort of cannonball firing thing is this? It's horrible. It's horrible is what it is. You gotta admit, this is kind of badass. I mean, I probably have way too many archers for my own good, but you gotta admit, this is kind of awesome. Right, here's a, here's a question. If I were to move you up ever so slightly, you're damn quick at moving these things. That I should remember that. Can you sort of fire over the walls and hit them? We will obey. Of course you will obey, I pay you. I pay you the you entire say, income of loyal. this entire nation of ours. I expect you to obey to the best of your abilities. Which, to be fair, is not always that much, but hey. Without fail. To be completely blunt with you, I expected more of a resistance on the walls. You let me occupy them a bit too easily. I put two units up there unchallenged. Now you're gonna move in with skeleton spearmen, but that is hardly gonna be enough. Let's go in with the eagle now. Essentially, uh, I can't move these units until everyone's up the ladders, unfortunately. Ooh, tell you what I can do that I forgot to do, and I keep forgetting this in all my battles. Abilities. Yes! Yes! Unlimited power! Unlimited... Li Li limit, limit the power. Limit the power. Put it in the other direction. Yes. Good. And now, a bit of an explosion. Yes. And some more ravens. Good. Good. Excellent. Sun Tzu would be proud. If it, what are you doing? Get out of there, you're embarrassing yourselves. Alright, get in there. Stack up like so. Is the gate not ours? It is not. They've moved in reinforcements. Okay. We're very close to acquiring it, though. Um, let's put you two down here. And I'll have you attack the skeleton unit from the rear. Thus, hopefully securing the gate for us. I think that's what we're doing right now. Oh, and obviously you should be fighting them. Uh, you should be fighting them. And, uh, well, you're going to be fighting them anyway, because you're up the ladders now. Uh, just watch, watch for the reserve forces, if any. I just, I'm sorry. This is. I'm gonna take a minute and just look at this. God, I wish I had to fight them there. Bring back medieval two sieges. This is the disgrace. <laughs> well, no, it's kind of a disgrace and kind of isn't. But I'm sorry. This is gorgeous. I, I, I know. I'm taking away from the battle. I'm taking away from from everything. Look, look though. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Beauty! This is absolute beauty! Couple of buildings ruined there, here and there from the siege, yeah, sure. But this is gorgeous! 
I mean, as an artist, this is just, this speaks to me. It really does. Okay, back to the battle, I'm sorry. God, that is utterly, utterly gorgeous. I... It is for the Vista that I conquer this, if nothing else. Right? For the Vista alone, this will be enough. Now, put some more, uh... Hold. Hold, 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 hold. Don't get hit by the explosions. Fireball. Good. It shall be done. And now we can close in melee. For order. And that's you two as well. No fear. That was stupidly quick. <laughs> Alright, bizarre. Gentlemen? The city is ours. Of the winds. Well, sort of. Um, yeah, I thought as much fell bats, right? We have a cure for those as well, don't worry. They're flying units, but... We're the flying unit killing experts. Put my men in the plaza like so. And... Get the uh, artillery in the, into the city too. Put you over there. Grab the stronger of the spearmen as a reinforcing unit there in case they swoop down on us. But if you were, if you, you know, please allow me to shoot you with a couple of volleys from all of this. I I would like that very very much. If we can make that happen, I would be like an extremely happy elf. Okay? You just sit there and defend your capture point, defend your city, defend the, the, the castle, you know? Yeah, yeah. defend the, the castle. Again, it's so gorgeous, my god, it is. Like, look at that. Look at those details on the thing. Look at that. That's. that's ugh. So pretty, so pretty. Sorry. Stop admiring the enemy. I'm sure we have equally pretty fortresses and stuff. And if we don't, we shall conquer the prettiest fortress. I Hopefully. Now, I want you to move in. I want you to hold fire. Because if one of you starts shooting, then, you know, we're, we're not going to get off a glorious volley that I want. Screw it. For duty. We will obey. Understood. I mean, not quite sure what I expected, but, eh. Lost 65 soldiers, now that... That looks like a siege battle that I used to do in, you know, a couple of months ago. Or last year, probably. Yeah, it's more likely like last year. And in the previous game, but yes. That. As I expected. That is a result I like. A little bit of loot gained, and uh, much more importantly, Claim this place the enemy for capital. One. And we can't afford to sack it due to public order, which we're probably gonna have to put down a rebellion, put down a rebellion either way. No but to my power. we now have the manpower to do it. Um, let's see, a regrowth. What does it do? Replenish his uh, replenishes hit points of combatants. Ooh. 
that or the net. I think the net has more um, tactical uses. And here... Mm, this is good because it's, it's constant regen around her. It's, it's very powerful. We'll, uh, we'll do that. It's actually very, very powerful. Well, it depends on the regeneration rate, but still. A significant buff. Okay. 700 income in total? Eh, pretty good. Tell you what, though, time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the High Elf campaign in Warhammer 2 Total War. Like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video, and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the series. Until next time, have fun, take care, and bye bye